With the help of an incandescent lamp as a consumer and a DC voltage source, the DC current and the same voltmeters are displayed with the help of a multimeter. In order to avoid damage to the multimeter, the measurement range is always as large as possible. Here, for the same voltage measurement, the 1000 volt range is used. The measuring cables are connected to the connections provided for voltage measurement. The connection with the ground symbol, the upside down T, forms the measurement reference, which the potential difference is compared to. Thus, the voltage between the two measuring cables is measured at the voltage measurement. A positive voltage measurement means a higher voltage potential compared to this measurement reference. Special cables with pointed test cables, or simple connection cables, can be used for the power. The electrical voltage is the potential difference between two selected connections of a circuit. To measure the voltage at the incandescent lamp, a voltage meter must be connected in parallel to its terminals. The measurement always begins in the largest measurement range to avoid damage done by unexpectedly high voltages. For the most accurate measurement possible, the measuring range is then changed to the smallest possible range. The measuring error of the measuring instrument is indicated in percent and reference to the measuring range. This device has an accuracy class of 1.5 for the same voltage measurement to be recognized in display, a measuring error of 1.5 to be recognized in the display. This means a measuring error of 1.5%. In the largest voltage range, an error of maximum 15 volts is present. In addition, there is the reading inaccuracy of the pointer instrument. Therefore, after starting the instrument in the largest measuring range, you could switch to the smallest possible range for the measurement. Here is the 10 volt measuring range. In this example, the voltage measurement is 9.3 volts. With a measuring error of 1.5% in the 10 volt range, i.e. 0.15 volts. The sequence of a voltage measurement with a digital device hardly differs. Here, too, the measurement begins in the largest measuring range and then changes to the smallest possible range with the same reason. With the digital multimeter, there is no direct reading inaccuracy as with the analog pointer instrument. Instead, the last digit of the display fluctuates around a value. This additional inaccuracy is caused by the analog to digital conversion and is indicated in the so-called digits. A digit is a numerical step of the last number so that if an error of two digits occur, the last digit of the display may fluctuate between two values. This error is in addition to the actual error class of the device. The accuracy of this device is indicated on the back of the device. Here, for the same voltage, plus or minus 0.1% of the measuring range plus one digit. Many digital multimeters adjust the measuring range automatically so that only the measuring quantity, like here the voltage, has to be selected at the device. Nevertheless, it is also necessary for the measuring range to be varied under circumstances for an optimal measurement. The process of direct current measurement with a multimeter is very similar to that of a voltage measurement. The electrical current strength is the directional charge carrier flow per time, so that a current meter must be connected in series to the load to be measured. The measuring cables are connected to the connections provided for current measurement. The connection with the symbol also forms a measurement reference here so that a positively measured current influence in the direction of this reference means it is a higher value. As always, the measurement begins in the largest measuring range to prevent damage done by unexpectedly high currents. Here, the 10 ampere measurement range is used, which also has its own connection. For a measurement range that is as accurate as possible, the measuring range is then changed to the smallest possible range. In this case, the measuring connection must also be changed, and a current of 1.485 amperes can be measured. Finally, a resistance measurement should be shown. The resistance measurement is basically a current measurement with the help of an internal voltage source in the multimeter. For example, a battery. A small current flows through the two poles of the multimeter through the circuit to measure the resistance. Depending on the resistance of the two poles, 
The measuring current varies so that the position of the transformer can be calculated and displayed. Therefore, the multimeter must always measure voltage and current loss when measuring resistance to avoid false measurements or damage to the instrument. In this example, the resistance to the ground of the incandescent lamp is 1.744 kilo ohms.